My sight is going to be uh, building out of the back, but with the emphasis on using the six and how quickly we build out through that through that player, getting quickly forward uh, with the speed of play and then first touch, focusing on as quick as we can get out. Because I don't like keeping the ball in the back as much as we. I mean, as much as our teams like to keep the ball in the back, uh, I don't see the purpose of just kind of just keeping it there if we're not going forward. So I want to get the ball forward as soon as I can. Obviously, if it's not on, then we keep it. But then, objectively, it's trying to get it as quickly as we can forward to the midfield and then forward. But we're going to focus mainly from the back to about the middle of the field, and then from then on, it's and leave it up to you guys to kind of go from there. Uh, and if you have any questions as I go on, just let me know. Um, some of the stuff you, um, the first part I'm going to do. I'm sure you guys have seen it at some point. Um, and again, certain little things that you might look at that you've seen or probably don't, probably haven't seen, just let me know. And again, I'll, I'll, I'm open to criticism, so let me know. Uh, so to begin, uh, can I get a player by that orange cone by top of the top, by underneath the box? Uh, take, take, basically going to be a receiving player that's going to be playing the ball out. Be a, that can be considered a goalkeeper or a center back, depending on who you want to start back there with. Um, and then on this cone, give me two players. That's going to be running in underneath to be going to be considered outside backs. Uh, I need a player in that blue, blue cone over there. What one or two. The furthest blue cone. Yeah. Center mid. That's going to be a center mid. <laughs> so I need two. One, one or one more over there, please. One more with Coach Marvin, please. All right. And then I need one or two of you guys to service the ball across it to Colin. Uh, where Colin is. And, <laughs> yeah, you gotta play it in the Collins. Play the ball in the Collins. All right, we're building out of the back through the run of play. All right, so as the ball is being served, how quickly can we get underneath to play to an outside back where Caleb's gonna come in about that blue cone? He's gonna be receiving it from Colin, and then Colin's gonna be playing it to Coach Marvin underneath, and then Coach Marvin is gonna be playing it in to the to this player to restart it. Yeah, Yami's gonna play to you, and you're playing it over to Coach Marvin, and Coach Marvin's gonna play it forward into the space. All right? Um, ready? So again, you're, you're gonna play the ball to Colin. Colin's gonna receive it. He's gonna play it as as you're running in. You're gonna be receiving the ball from Colin. As that ball travels, you're gonna get there as quickly as you can. You're gonna turn, and then you're gonna play it back to Roger. Yes, Roger. And then it restarts. All right? Yeah, one, two. So you're playing it there, and then as soon as you get it, you're play playing it into Coach Marv, and then Marvin is trying to just play it out. Okay, I play it back to right? Yammy or to Marvin? No, you're playing it into inside. Then the Marvin. Out and in, and then forward. All right? Got it? Ready? Let's go. Play it. Woo! Yeah! Woo! Two more 
two more players will come inside this blue cone right here.
I tell my kids is have a mental clock in your head. If you're there in that space, two, three seconds, get out. All right? Because the longer you take in that space, that that's there's another space that's opening up for you that you that you didn't see. Are you what's up? Do you tell your backs to go on a weight beat or do you have them drop it? I tell them to go as high as they can. So that way. If I can get my six to play a ball immediately to that space where my where my outside back is going to be, that's what I want. I don't want I don't want to be playing it to our center back. All right, I want to be I want you to receive the ball, find our six, and then our six finds the outside or through another center mid. All right. Okay, Dre. Let's see it. Let's see if Coach Rich can uh, settle it this time. Yep. Yep. Find our six. Find our six. Quick. Woo. Now again, in this space, right, it should be easy for our for, for three to come by now because it's a big space. So as, as things get older, you want to add maybe more numbers to there. You want to add a third player in there, which I'm going to do now, which Coach Darrell is going to come in and create a 3v3. And then we're going to have Coach Kobet slide in to make it a 4v3. I always want numbers up because I want to I want to create success for my team to go forward. All right, so now as the ball goes in, Darrell, you're going in, and then you're, you're we're trying to find you now. All right, so Coach Marvin drives in. We're trying to find you off that. All right, you got to move side to side. All right. So once Coach Marvin receives the ball, can you can you receive the ball and find him against he dribbles out? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, just keep it and then it's done. All right. Ready? Who we'll started the last one? Yep. Go. Now we go. Yep. Yep. Just move side to side. Move side to side. Change your shift. Play it out. Play it out. Fight. Fight. Go, bitch. Good. That passing pattern comes in. Can we find our six and can we play out to our outside back? As the ball travels into, into Coach Rich, I want Kieran and Kevin to get higher up the field. So you see the Coach Kieran, you see those uh, orange, yellow, yellow cones, the orange cones right there? That's that's what I want you to be as high. Right? In that position, we gotta find you in that space. Yeah, in between them, right past it. And then from there, we can go forward. Keep the ball six. 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 Ke
Caleb, can you play the left wing? Yeah, I'm going to play striker. Yeah. And can uh, yeah. I play right wing? Yeah. All right, and then I'm guarding the uh, this cat out here. Now, 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 we have, now we have four four backs and then two center mids. Coach Marvin is the only one that can check in this space, but we can find Kovitz to play that ball out into that space to our outside backs to either end. All right? Caleb and I have restrictions, Malin? What's that? Did Caleb and I have restrictions? Nope. Okay. If you win the ball, you're trying to go score. All right? But again, hey, you guys are in this space here. You're in this space between the orange cone. All right? Ready? Late. Can we get wide? Wide, Kevin. Wide, Kevin. Higher up the field now. Hey, you got me here. You got me here. Yes. That's the ball. Turn and go. Turn and go. Dribble. That's speed. Are we going? Are we going? Nope.
again, once the ball goes into the, if it goes to that left side, then I want my back to shift to that to that side. All right. Now, if it goes back underneath, you have to immediately get out there because my goalkeeper has to be able to play that switch out through you. All right. If my center backs can't do it, we gotta find our back, our goalkeeper to play it out to you. Open. All right. Uh, we'll go uh, one more round. Take a touch and decide where to go. If he has no pressure, then we look to go out. But if he has pressure, we gotta play it quick. That's the breakdown. That's what we got scored on. Alright? Last one. Put that in. Or Rod. Rod, yep. even bigger I mean we, this we use the full half if you want to make them like again if you want to make them struggle at first you add more numbers defensively to make them kind of harder to break out but again I want to create a little success and then to make them struggle uh, just to kind of get them get them give them an idea of where to be where to pass the ball especially at a younger age group um, and then from here where we had we had the outside backs as they drive, you can include you can include wingers. You can have the target as a as a forward up there that you can play out through, and then you can go to goal on the opposite side, depending on your numbers as well. Uh, but again, like this whole session here, you can you, full width. Um, you can go either side, uh, this way or that way, up to you guys. Um, and I, I've been doing this with mostly my my own nines as much as I can. It's a lot of repetition. We haven't gotten to the big space yet because of the of the of the experience that they had that, that they lack in terms of finding those areas but again I focus on the passing more than anything on them and then our movement off that uh, at the older issues the older group I it's it's immediately like five minutes with the passing pattern and then we build into play for the most of the most of the game um, and then you can build it into a scrimmage where you can just kind of have with the 18 and then have your outside backs the way you score just finding them into those areas and then can we score off of them from there um, but again, it's a lot of things you can do with this with this exercise. And like I said, I did it on one side. If you have good numbers, you can do it there, and you can do it there at the same time, just to keep to keep numbers rolling and have little little uh, in terms of not as much rest. You can have two people instead of uh, uh, three or four. Um, again, it's because that's that uh, that this run from here to there. If you have just one person doing it by like the third or fourth set, they're gonna be they're gonna be done. So you include two people in there, and it helps them with their rest. Um, but again, also, I include fitness in that area as well. Um, but other than that, that's, that's what I have. Thank you, guys. Any, uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Any questions? No? Nope? Good? What's your rankings look like after the session? 
Why <laughs> white? Richard, Richard won. <laughs> Most so I, do, I do have one, Millie. Um, one? Have you? Do you try and change where the starting position is with the ball? Like, yeah. Well, to begin, it was there. Um, just to, we can start with the ball centrally, okay. uh, or I mean, at an angle to the side. We, I don't, I don't like starting it from the from the middle, just because my keeper is just kind of there. I want to be at an angle so my keeper is at one side to receive the ball, so he can play out to one side. I mean, you can start it from midfield if you have the players that can just hit the ball into that space, but the keeper has got to be able to settle that, you know, and play out immediately from there. Uh, but I like it from the outsides. I mean, if you want to go all the way out, even better. But I just. Right where we were at, I think that was that's been like the best, at least when when I've done it, because it keeps it it's close enough to where a keeper can settle it and play out, and it's not far enough where it's where they struggle. Right. Uh, yeah. It's been very very good. Right. Very good flow. Right. Just really simple and adding players, adding the, the space get bigger and add more players in that space. Uh, I was just urged to think about uh, triggers. Right. So how do you trigger the game? So Kieran is kind of leading to this. So where does the ball start from? Right. So. If it only starts from there or here, uh, can you replicate different areas of the game? Maybe it's a back pass from a defender. Maybe the defenders are higher up, play the back pass, then they drop in. All right, so there's different right. triggers, and it's probably not the same session, but just different triggers you can do depending on the demands of the game, right? Because now maybe a cross ball where he takes the ball, put it down, or holds the ball to that play in the shape, and and we go from there. So whatever trigger you can add. Uh, the, the one thing I would suggest um, is when you get the smaller game where we were serving Roger and, and, uh, and Adrian serving from here, great, I like that. Because a lot of repetition, a lot of flow. And then when you start adding players in that space, I would suggest that trigger now starts probably off the field. Somewhere with, where, so we're trying to play and there's balls around, there's a play in that space, we're trying to hit Kev, trying to, right, I look up and I'm trying to find, in the light trying to find Kieran behind the injury and that kind of stuff, right? Um, so I would suggest clean that up. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Anything else? Anybody? Just from like a transition kind of mindset, um, I noticed when we had the goalkeeper give the ball away, it was kind of play was halted. Um, in this session, do you coach how if we give the ball away when we're trying to build, how we recover from that, or do you just focus on the building offensively? In this part of particular it? one, I just focus on them trying to build out. Okay. Because then I'm then I'm focusing on them defending, gotcha. and it's just we kind of lose. Right, lose right. That's what I figure. Sessions, I just wanted to double yeah, check on that. Obviously, it's that's a focus that you can kind of build into, but that's like after I actually get into this part, I want to go into all right. So now we lose the ball. Mm -hmm. How quickly can we recover it? From gotcha. There? Uh, but again, my, I want to I want to stop it there because I don't want them to get scored on and then like have to bring them back into the game. Right. right. Um, yeah. Are the oranges only allowed to play and defend inside this space whenever you run the session? Uh, to begin, yeah. Uh, just so my my outs my center backs and my six are under constant pressure mm -hmm. uh, because if they're spread out. They don't have a ton of pressure because of the space that I'm using. Where I want to keep it a little closed up, so my center backs don't always can't can always receive the ball. They have to constantly move off that, and then my six is finding in those spaces. If I had three forwards, if I had four, that that fourth person comes in, like how can we find that space? So I mean, I don't. I want them to. I restrict their zone, but again, once you open it up, you can. I mean, you can kind of remove the cones and just kind of play it from there. But I still want to just keep the zone game in, in just this particular session. I mean, there's others where it's, you know, they actually, as we play it, they come in as well. Because it's like, as late as, it's pretty much like if the orange team kicked it to the keeper, mm -hmm. they're stepping up. So now how can we play with a team running right at you to recover the ball from building out of the back? Uh, yeah. And look, I think it's great. And I think that separates us from probably most of the teams you play is you're building out the back. And it's not going to be successful a lot of times because you're playing against girls and athletes are just going to pump it. But when they get to the... 16 you 15 that's where it really pays right because then those girls that couldn't do it before that doesn't work anymore we just stretch them out so much yeah so a nine ten baby group i think it's great that we're teaching that and not worrying about if it didn't work one game and it cost us a game or cost us a tournament keep just them constantly. harassing them to the depth that they got to do that's yeah huge. i think the neat thing you said was um for you with the old nines it's more of a technical thing i chose the technical I kind of, we progress uh, older age, higher level, 
you're talking about stuff here. Air press my three, body shape, the yeah. timing of my runs, am I checking with my shoulder and when I go, you kind of mentioned it here in the passing, when I go here, what's your relationship of pullbacks off me? Right? So you can find him. Um, so yeah, so it's the same thing. Uh, it just builds depending on the level of KJ in front of you. Right? You can get to the point where it becomes part of how you play. Yeah. Anything else? As far as your time limit, for the team putting out of the bag, is there a part of time limit to get the ball out of that bag? Or do you uh, think it progresses? Yeah. I mean, you don't want to you don't want to go too long, but, but I don't really put a restriction on it. I'm just trying to build out quick, yeah. but if it's not on, like I said, we got to keep moving it. And if you put a restriction on there, we're going to force it, and that's going to break down. Stop it.